Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to the Toy Grid. My name is Dismaster, and here is another toy review. Um, so today I'm doing the review for um, Chun Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings. Um, this, is, this is a figure that recently just came out recently. I got it uh, a few weeks back. Uh, it just I just want to take a few weeks off from making videos since I I finally got a few weeks off from school and I just want to take it easy. So I just wanted to take it, um, you know, just relax for a couple of day, uh, a couple of weeks. So so yeah, um, so I got this early hand and because I found it early, but uh, but yeah, um, I got it out of the box early just to. Because I just wanted to get a closer look at it and to see what the figure is all about. Uh, I was going to uh, take a, um, show it to you uh, how he came out in the box. But I, I was looking forward just to see what this new figure was all about. So I took it out early just to see how, how he looks, what he comes with. Uh, but yeah, just wanted to see what he was all about since he's a new character from the MCU and and technically it's a character I, I don't know anything about uh to be honest I don't know anything about him and and yeah I don't I never read anything um about about this character and you know it, it intrigued me so I got him and also I just wanted to see um how he looks like so I took it up early <laughs> uh so yeah um um, before I uh, before we get to the video on um, before we get into the to the figure I just want to show you the box really quick this is the box that he came with this is the the name of the title of the uh, for the movie Shang Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings um, I'm actually excited for the um, uh, well I wouldn't say excited excited but I'm looking forward to seeing the movie uh, it got me interested in how the Ten Rings are gonna play out in um into the movie because it's been teased like throughout the the whole MCU so I'm looking forward to see to seeing it and also I'm interested about Chen Chi himself. I, I don't know too much about this character so I'm looking for how he gonna come out um in the movie. So and uh, here's an image of the character. Look at it looks really nice. Um here's an image of the back of the character. Um if you can see it but but yeah it's let me lift it up that's the image of the character in the back uh he looks really nice and here's uh the description here uh you can pause it there and if you want to read it uh here's the build the figures they're gonna come with um the marvel mr high i don't know who he is i'm not really interested in getting him uh here are the other figures that are gonna come out and yeah that's about it for the box uh, so yeah, let's get right into the figure for Chan Chan Chi. So this is Chan Chi, you guys, and I really liking the figure. Like I said, I don't know too much about the character himself. Uh, I was planning on on uh, looking up on YouTube about his backstory because I, I don't know too much about him. I still don't know to this day. But I know that he's a um, martial artist, like, type of hero. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much I know uh, about him. That he's, uh, I don't think he has, like, super powers, like, super soldier serum or anything like that. I just know that he does, like, a lot of martial arts. Uh, he learned martial arts. He's kind of, I want to say, like, um, Iron Fist. But, I mean... He learns the ways of a uh, martial arts. That's that's what I'm trying to say. But but yeah. Um, overall, um, when I uh, looked at the figure, uh, the figure, I gotta say he looked um, really really nice, and um, I I think um, it's one of the better better figures that I've seen uh, in the Marvel Legends uh, when it comes to um, representing like a uh, actor um type of way for when it comes to face sculpt um if you can see right here um it, when you see the actor um face uh, i hope i get the actor's name right um it, it started with an s um let me pull it up i i just hope i don't get his name um pronounced wrong um is 
Saimu Liu. I hope I, I'm pronouncing his name right, but um, that's the actor's name. And I gotta say, I'm gonna put an image of the actor's face up um, to compare. Like, and I gotta say, um, just looking both of them side by side, um, I, I gotta say, um, Hashbro they did a really nice job, like presenting like the the actor's face and and portraying it like uh, the face model and and I, I gotta say it's really looking nice and when i see from the trailer and also from the image it it it's look really well presented presentable and you know hashbro has are, are becoming um a long way with the face sculpt and yeah i i that's what i really liked about the uh, this figure, when I first saw it, it was the face sculpt itself, and also what what I liked um, was like uh, especially the um, the clothes uh, the clothes that he wears. Um, and I'm guessing this is the type of clothes that he's gonna wear in the movie, especially um, I would I would say this is the type of clothes he's gonna wear in the final battle. Um, it, technically, that's that's pretty much that's what's gonna happen. That's pretty much my prediction in the movie like he's gonna wear regular clothes uh, throughout the whole movie and then uh, throughout the end he's gonna wear um this type of clothes for the final battle like for to fight and and yeah um i really like it i really like uh the texture like uh, of the clothes um the patterns also like um on the chest i really like the patterns um uh, how they did it um yeah I, I really like how how they incorporate like the red and also the black outlines and like and, and everything so it's a really nice um type of clothing they did it for for the for the figure and also i really like um looking through the pants like it just like it pretty, i'm guessing he's just wearing like regular jeans <laughs> And and when you work down to the to the shoes, he's just wearing like regular um, sneakers, and um, and and, and they really it look really nice shoes. So I really like it. It's just like really um, uh, the closest like martial arts. And then when you work your way down, so it's like jeans and then all the way to like uh, sneakers and stuff like that. So I thought that, that looked pretty nice. <laughs> I don't know. It just. It, it feels like that kind of works, <laughs> and um, so um, to to get to the figure, um, the accessory he comes with, he comes with his um, bow staff. Um, I'm guessing this is the type of weapon, his primary weapon, he's gonna use in the movie, his bow staff. Um, and he probably might use other weapons in the movie. We're we're not sure yet. The movie is not gonna come out. Um, I'm guessing it's gonna be in September in the movie. Um, I hope I get in their date right, but, but yeah, this could be, like, his main weapon, or, you know, they're probably saving other weapons he might use throughout the movie, and they just wanted to put a bow staff for right now, so, so, yeah, um, I, I, I like that they put a bow staff, uh, I like the, uh, the, his weapon as a bow staff, you know, um, my favorite Ninja Turtles is, uh, is Donatello, and I like when he uses uh, his his weapon, the bow staff. So so I like that Chan Chi his primary weapon is a bow staff. So yeah, um, and also he comes um, with extra hands. Um, this is one of the extra hands here. I already changed it. Um, it's kind of more like a opposing hand. It's not for like to put in for the bow staff. It's just more like. Uh, when you saw earlier, I have him. I have him pose uh, in a way like to like insinuate like he's gonna like um, intimidate like a foe, or also like talking to someone like like hey, here's a nickel, or like hey, come here or something like that. Uh, but yeah, this is one of the uh, extra hands that he comes with, and also I have the other extra hands here that he comes with. I have the other extra hands here. Um, he comes with another uh, point on um, the same hand he uh, that I just showed you. 
it's kind of like the finger gripping hands here. Um, also, he got more like a open uh, gripping hand, o open hand like gripping like for bow. It's more like for posing like what, what he's gonna like going to attack or like to defend. And also, this is for like uh, uh, the other hand for to for him to grip uh, the bow staff. So yeah. Uh, so I like that he comes with uh, more extra hands, so you can pose and also to use for to hold his accessory. So I know with Chun Chi, um, he um, he's already has um, his appearance. Like I know Hashbro did um, his uh, uh, comic book appearance like a few years back. It, he already came out. Um, I forgot which way it was, but I, I know I already saw his figure, like, in his comic book appearance, but, like, back a few years back, and I remember when I first saw him, I didn't know who the character was, but he came with a bunch of accessory hands, like, like, the hands you see right here, this is, like, a small comparison, but the one, his comic book appearance, like, he comes with a bunch of, a bunch of hands, and I was surprised that, because uh, normally when I see Mar Marvel Legend figures, he com uh, comes with a few hands. But Chon chi like his comic book appearance, he comes with a bunch of hands, like interchangeable hands. So I figured, you know, uh, I thought, you know, they gave Chon chi like his comic book appearance, a lot of hands. Why not other figures also? But yeah, uh, but overall, but overall, I really like this figure. Um, I'm looking forward to the movie and... And I think it's going to be a good movie because uh, a lot of Asian um, representation going on. And I really appreciate that. And also, it just, it, see, like, uh, it seems like it's going to be a really solid cast, like, with the acting and everything. So, I'm really looking forward to, to the movie, for sure. This is the build a piece he comes with when you get Chan, uh, Chan Chi. So, when, if you're interested in building him, you got to get the others. So this is the builder PC he, he comes with. So it, again, if you try to get the others, this um, you need to you know buy the rest to build Mr. Hyde. So here are some side comparison. Here is uh, change uh, change Chi with Bo Katan. Here change Chi um, uh, alongside with Ventress. Here's change Chi alongside with Count Dooku. Here is Chain Chi alongside with Venom. And here is Chain Chi alongside with Super Shredder. So that's it on the video, you guys. Thank you for watching. Um, I, I know I didn't went in too much on the uh, articulation. It just that I, I, when I got into the figure, like just check it out on my own. Um, I noticed I didn't see too much problem with the articulation, like like everything like I saw that his articulation is pretty much just fine like his possibility and everything his flex um he's pretty much flexible there's no um problem with him bending it and everything like his arms and everything it doesn't seem stiff his neck articulation everything and uh, going 360 degrees and like pretty much everything around his articulation everything seems fine his, there's no pain, um, a malfunction with, like, pain quality. It doesn't seem off or anything like that. Everything seems fine with this figure. I really like the product, how it came out overall. I'm pretty satisfied with my purchase for this figure. Like, Hasbro did a really, um, nice job, um, taking a better, um, a, 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 taking a better, uh, approach when applying paint and also um, having uh, paint application with the figure and everything. So they did a, a really nice job with it. I really like it and they should be proud uh, with this figure. They did a really nice job. I really like it. And if you're looking for this figure, like um, go to your local Target. I've been uh, finding them a lot on Target. And also, uh, check uh, Walmart also. I've been seeing them popping out 
at Walmart also. So if you're interested in getting on ch uh, Chain Chi um, uh, to add for your MCU collection, you should, you know, uh, give it a chance and, you know, get it for your collection and check it out. Um, also, if you're interested about Chain Chi, um, you know, just uh, hop in on on YouTube and check out his background history. I know some YouTubers say, have done like his background history uh, in the comics about him. And I'm going to plan out and looking for his background because I am interested about the character and uh, where he came from and, and how he plays like in the story, like in the MCU and everything, because I don't know too much about him. The same as, you know, Guardians of the Galaxy, like how they put him, how they put them in the MCU. We didn't know too much about them. And then until they put them in the movie and then we went into the background and then found out like, oh, OK, uh, about the history, how uh, who they are and all that. So, you know, interested in finding out the background and everything. So, yeah, sorry, I was rambling. But, yeah, that's all I wanted to say. Hope you liked the video. And, yeah, I'll. And the figures I just show you, like, for the comparison, like, Asajj Ventress and Bokentan and Dooku and Venom, like, those are, are figures I got recently. So I'm going to do videos about them also as well. Uh, and they're all separate videos. They're going to come out also in, in due time. So, yeah, I hope you liked the video, and I'll see you guys soon. All right, take care.